this year we're 100 years old and I felt that we really needed to have a book that would celebrate that fact. So to do something very special, to do something that really commemorated a hundred years of the talents that have gone into making Vogue during that period of time. Well, we've got a hundred contributors in the book, ranging from photographers to editors who worked on it, a lot of quotes from people both living and no longer with us who've been part of the whole kind of stuff of making this, this very special thing that is Vogue. And also, every edition of this book will have its own page of seven signatories. Uh, they're all different, but you know, amongst them is myself, Barbara Hulaniki, Penelope Tree, Kate Moss, Arthur Elgort, Karen Elson, so a, a real kind of mixture. I think this book is really important for celebrating 100 years of Vogue, and it really captures so much, I think, of, um, of what Vogue's about. Gorgeous. Loads of pictures that I was like, oh God, that. Yeah. yeah, that you've seen, but you haven't seen for a while, so that's really nice. Stella Tennant, it's kind of standing with the fridge, drinking a carton of milk with a baby in her hand. It's kind of wonderfully decadent. We had the idea, and um, the, the hairdresser just whipped up that tree, so it was pretty painless, really. Oh, it's a huge honor to be included in the book. I mean, along with, you know, some of the really great models, photographers, you know, artists. I'm very happy to be in, included in the book. It's a real privilege and I feel very lucky. It's beautiful. It's a book that I'll have forever. Oh, I'm so delighted because the pictures that they actually used are fantastic. It's really very, very happy to see all those because they'll last another hundred years, won't they? To be acknowledged by Vogue is terrific. It's the first time that we've ever created a sort of artwork, really. The beautiful box and uh, the cover, very tactile. I feel like it's a very uh, rich combination of both words and photographs, and um, it looks wonderful. So when I look at some of these amazing Twiggy pictures, because I'm so glad it was all recorded in such a, you know, grand manner. It's a very, very live book. It uh, has wonderful way of showing the actual pages in the magazine. It is a wonderful object. It will become an heirloom. It's definitely a classic. It's definitely a collectible. I mean, there's really no good reason not to try and get one. The problem's going to be there aren't that many. It's a great source of inspiration as well because you've got so such good documentation in there. And the book is designed to be about themes in the magazine and also about the decade. So it's not an entirely chronological book. It's just so rich, you know. It's just you turn the page and it's a surprise. Something from the 70s, the 40s. It's just it's all there. So much of it. I think that's one of the reasons why the book is so good and in a way surprising is because it's not just fashion pictures after fashion pictures. It's more visual than that, so you have things like lingerie, fantasy or travel. I mean all these models being shot in wonderful places, it sort of inspired the thirst for travel. I think the happiest I ever um, remember being on shoots was during um, on locations. I mean, I went to some wonderful locations with Bailey, like Zambia, Nepal, like Kashmir, Goa, which at the time was really undiscovered. Vogue is so much about what's in the wind at the time and people who work for Vogue are really good at picking up what's 
you know, hot and what's happening. Well, British Vogue has defined fashion photography for this century. We probably do have a slightly more kind of idiosyncratic mix. I would define the Anglo-Saxon attitude as having a individual flair, being trailblazers and sort of not being sheep. Basically not giving a fuck really and doing what you, you know, being who you are. If you look at the shoots, and there are many of them in this book, you can see that there's not one aesthetic that dominates it. It's very much a mixture of a showcase of, of different talents. You see how much of the f photography and the illustration and the text and everything actually does tell you something about more than just that particular content. It does tell you about the spirit of the age. It's not a history of fashion photography. That's what makes it really interesting. It's a history of a culture in a way and, um, and a viewpoint on that culture. Mm -hmm.